guys, Larry and Parker here with Yay. LAP Coins, and today we are going to show you a beginner's tackle box, and some of you guys may be on a budget, so you can't afford millions of tackle, of dollars of tackle, but we'll try to keep this box here under $50. Yes, and we'll make sure to link most of the stuff down below. And you can do it for even less, I mean... You don't need fanciest brands, I'm telling you. And you I can mean, e even use a toolbox if you need yeah, to. Yeah, if you, like, I use these utility boxes, but for starting out, all you need is this. Oh, uh, by the way, Wiggly Worm sticker, Wiggly Worm, main sponsor Wiggly, of the Wiggly channel. Worm, please sponsor us! Well, they're kind of already our main sponsor of the channel, but, um, great tackle store near us, and we will link if to If you have website. a local one, but there's probably not a local one around you, just saying. I know I'm doing yeah, ASMR. Yeah, if, if not, just order from Tackle Warehouse. They're not a sponsor of us, but they're good. So, yeah. Quality content. Uh, let's turn this around and get started. So, the first thing you need, this is not including rods and wheels, by the way. You don't need a fancy rod or anything. So, I have a few things in here. but um, So, the first thing that you hands down need is some soft plastics. So, look from our beautiful wall. Oh, my God. I'm going to fall over one yeah, day. Our LAP coins wall of... Or LAP fishing, honestly, at this yeah, point. Yeah, well, here, so... Yum Dingers are a great alternative to the Gary Yamamoto Sankos, which are just trash. They fall off your line and they cost twenty dollars for a packet of them. That's probably we'll a link good these down below. As these well. cost only two dollars and ninety nine cents if you want to go to Walmart. Sometimes you can find them and for just a dollar. And if you live in Europe or something, we don't know your price, so just find that out yourself. Quality uh, content here. Uh, so yeah, so these are gonna go right in. Well, no, these can go down here. Yay. In they go. The next thing you're going to need is some sort of craw. Now, this is actually Guggen baits, which are kind of more expensive, but... Shout out to... The Guggen Squad. I know probably some of you hate the Guggen Squad. But, uh, there's a lot of stuff about these Guggen baits, but... I like them, personally, so... This is the Bandito Bug. You can get pretty much any craw. It doesn't really matter. Ah. We're doing an every, everything in green pumpkin because that's a pretty common color that everyone has. So in goes that. Yay. That's pretty much all you really need for the soft plastics. You don't need too much. I mean, we have a lot of different colors of stuff. You should probably also get this in black and blue. But, and then, what else? So next, I'm not going to take this stuff out, or maybe I will. But you're going to want a jerk bait. A jerk bait is like this. And you, it doesn't really matter the color or the size, really. Just get a jerk bait. They're kind of nice. Uh, so we'll put that in. I'll try to keep stuff down low. This box is really dirty. Uh, you could get, like, jointed jerk baits and stuff, but you don't need to get too fancy. We'll link, um, well, actually, you can make your own, so. Well, yeah, you can make your own. You kind of It's hard, need, but. Yeah, it costs much more to do that, so don't do it unless you really love doing it. But the next thing you're going to need is a spinner bait. A spinner bait is, um, it's like this. It's a pretty self-explanatory, but um, there's two different kinds. There's the kind with this type of attachment here, and then there's a kind with this type of attachment where it's a hole. But they're both equally good, and yeah. But, um, we'll link one of these down in the might, description. You might want to get a few of these, actually, because they're pretty nice. They're really when this video comes out, the links won't be there, but just wait some time. Yeah, this is, these are pretty nice. I like the Strike King Kings. They're not sponsored the channel, but... Wish. And then, we I'm not going to put these in, but um, these are worm hooks. I like extra wide gap, but you can get whichever kind is cheaper. Um, these are Gamagatsu, but I'd get... I'd try to get fancy hooks. Like, if you're going to get fancy anything, buy fancy hooks. So, this costs like $5 for five hooks. I know that seems expensive, but it's, it's worth decent. It. It's a dollar per it's, hook. Uh, it's worth it. Don't buy Eagle Claw, Eagle Claw. And, like, their bait holder hooks are okay, unless... But if you're fishing with soft plastic worms, I don't even know if they make those hooks, but buy, like, Gamagatsu or something. Buy good quality. So, these aren't going to go in the box because I don't really want to deal with this stuff. I'm not going to use this. So, what else do they need once they're starting on uh, yes, so we're going to need a top water frog. These you can find in... They range look realistic, too. Find. Thank your friend if you feel like it. 
You can find them at any range from $1 to $20. Like, the live Target ones are really expensive. But this is really good for sunny summer days. No rhyme intended there. Okay. Pun intended. Pun intended. And then the next thing that I really recommend is a jig. A jig is good for cover. They're a little bit harder to fish, so maybe a bit more advanced, but I like them a lot. I have a mini one here. This is just a Strike King Bitsy Bug Jig. It Try to link everything there. down, so don't yeah. worry. I mean, you can probably look this up on Amazon yourself, but we're just going to be helpful. Yeah. And um, cheapest price, too. We're going to make sure it's the cheapest price. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you want the cheapest price, I go on don't, eBay. Don't buy it on Amazon or eBay. Buy it off, like, Tackle Warehouse. Oh, okay. Then the next thing you're going to need, which I don't personally have a lot of, I'm hopefully going to go to Wiggly Worm this weekend and pick up some of those, but you're going to need a few crankbaits. Crankbaits are pretty nice. You should probably get a square bill, a normal bill, a deep diver, and a um, lipless. Two of them stuck together there? Yeah, they, they're all sticking together because of the hooks. And then you're going to need um, some bullet weights, which I like the Eagle Claw. I thought you just said you hated Eagle Claw. Eagle Claw bullet weights are okay. They're, Eagle Claw is affordable. Ah! Uh, we lost Pitch our lighting. Black. We lost I mean, our lighting. Don't dare I mean, we still have it. this, but I'm not going to pause There it. we go. Yay! Uh, I said don't dare to pause it because our camera is not good at pausing. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it for our beginner's tackle box. For a re rod and reel, don't buy spin cast stuff. Spin cast is junk. Um, I'd buy a spinning rod. You don't need to go expensive. And a spinning reel, and then later, after you've fished a lot and you've gotten really used to that reel, you can get a bait caster. And we'll make a video on how to cast a bait caster and how to use a bait caster because Parker is going to need to learn that. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more from the channel. Hit the bell if you want to get notified. See you in the next one.